Westinghouse generators. We already know that a 2000 watt generator will not power that 15,000 BTU air conditioner, but now we have two generators running in parallel coming out here and this is our power to our generator coming here. It is, this does, the parallel cable does have a 30 amp receptacle, but I need to run 20 amps so I can be able to test the uh, amps that we're drawing. Right now the travel trailer is drawing 1.4 amps. Uh, the only thing that's on is uh, the battery charger and uh, maybe a little outdoor mini fridge. Um, and uh, we're reading 124 volts. We will get a decibel test. two decibels with both of these uh, running. I'm going to have her engage the uh, 15,000 BTU air conditioner on high fan with the AC running. You're going to see a short voltage drop. That's just the fan running. Should read about four amps while that's running and then we'll hear the power kick up once that compressor engages. All right, go ahead with the AC. So we'll watch this voltage. Like I said, as soon as that fan comes on, you'll see a short drop and then you'll see another drop when the compressor comes on, okay? So minor drop to 119 and now we're back up to 124. We're reading 3.7 amps down here, 3.7, and that compressor kicks on, you'll see this drop here. Eight. There we go, whoa. Okay, so we came all the way down to 77 volts until we jumped back up with uh, now 121 volts. We're reading uh, 14 and a half to 15 amps. And it was this one that took a while to kick in. 95 to 96 decibels. So we'll try that again. All right, go ahead and shut it off. Still reading three and a half amps. Means that only the fan's on right now. There we go. Yep, drop back down to 70 again, and then it kicks back up to 121, 122 volts, reading 15 amps, roughly 15 amps. About 93 decibels. We'll go on the inside and get a decibel reading on the inside of the travel trailer. 15,000 BTU air conditioner on. I have this closed because this is all ducted. It's a little bit quieter. <coughs> sit where we normally sit. Um, I can kind of hear the generators running. It's mostly fan noise though. 67 decibels, which is roughly what it is whether we're running a generator or we're pack, uh, plugged in the shore power. Uh, so meaning you can't really hear the generators. It's mostly muffled uh, from the AC. So we'll go ahead and shut the AC off and then we'll just get a, a reading with nothing running on the uh, inside of this travel trailer. Okay, AC is off, we'll let the fan go ahead and kick off, and we'll hear this generator throttle down. There goes the fan. The uh, two generators in parallel are about 25 feet from me outside of this slide. 39 decibels, which is ambient. We tested before, uh, ambient out in the middle of the field of the campground was 39 decibels. So although I can hear them, I definitely can hear the generators, it's uh, roughly the same sound as birds chirping or the wind blowing. If we were to have a conversation in here or have the radio going, uh, you would completely drown those generators out. It's reading basically ambient. 39 decibels. Next, we are going to engage the hot water heater. That's a, a silent unit on the inside so you can hear how much of a decibel increase when those two generators rev up. So we'll run the electric hot water heater right now. 79 decibels and 1.1 amps. So now we'll engage that electric hot water heater. All right, go ahead with the electric hot water heater. No drop in voltage, 120 volts. We're up to 12.4 uh, amps. 84 to 85 decibels. Now we'll go on the inside and get a decibel reading to see how loud these two running in parallel with the electric hot water. Electric hot water heater turned on. We'll sit where we normally sit in front of the TV and the recliners here. 45 decibels. Uh, ambient was 38 to 39, so we're reading 45 decibels, about five to six decibels louder. I definitely can hear them, but 
Again, if we had the radio or the TV on or a conversation, we would drown those out. All right, next up, we will shut off the electric hot water heater and try to run the microwave. All right, now we will run the microwave. You're gonna see a slow drawdown and then another drawdown. There's about a five second delay when that the power surge uh, occurs. So prior to engaging, 125 volts, 78 decibels, 1.1 amps. All right, go ahead with the microwave. Watch the voltage. So you can hear that minor kick down and then the surge, but no voltage drop with these two units running in parallel. We're still reading 123 volts, up to 11 and a half amps. 86, 87 decibels. We'll try that again. All right, shut it off. Really impressive that there's absolutely no voltage drop. It's just holding consistent. Oh, there we go. All right, again. Watch the voltage and listen. There's the, the minor kick and then the big surge, but still 120 volts. We're reading 11.8, almost 12 amps. 89 decibels. We'll go on the inside of the travel trailer and get a decibel reading. We have the microwave running in here, just on normal mode when you would microwave food, no high power or anything like that. Two minutes, I just, I can still hear the generators revved up and we will get a voltage read or a decibel reading from uh, the recliner where we would normally sit. 45 decibels. There's a little bit of fan noise coming from the uh, microwave, but we're reading roughly the same decibel reading when we have the electric hot water heater, which is silent. So uh, that noise is definitely from the generators. Uh, but again, you're talking uh, five decibels difference. It definitely would be drowned out in a conversation. All right, next up, we are going to run this electric fireplace here. Uh, this has two modes, high and two fan modes. We're gonna run it at, at the maximum and we'll get a, uh, a reading outside. All right, now we'll test the uh, electric fireplace. 125 volts, 1.1 amps, 82 decibels. All right, electric fireplace. Drop to 116 on the volts and back up to 123. Very minor. We're reading 12.3 amps, so that's pulling more than the microwave. decibels. All right, off, and we'll do it one more time. Hundred and twenty-four, twenty-five volts, one point one amps. All right, engage the electric fireplace. Drop to one eighteen, same, and back up to one twenty-two, one twenty-three, pulling twelve point three, twelve point four amps. 90 decibels. We'll go on the inside and get a decibel reading. All right, we have the electric fireplace here running on high fan, high heat, sitting here where we would sit in our recliners. 45 decibels. There is a little bit of fan noise from the electric fireplace. Um, but with the electric hot water heater running, we are reading about the same decibel reading. So about five to six decibels louder than uh, ambient noise. Alrighty, we're gonna shut the uh, electric fireplace off and next we will do an everyday test. We're gonna turn on the TV, the radio, we're gonna charge some phones, some power banks and flip the refrigerator from LP uh, back over to electric so it's pulling from the generator. So we'll go run that right now. Now we're going to run the everyday test. The TV, the radio, uh, charging phones, charging power banks. Uh, you won't see a surge here as she's turning everything on. Uh, you'll just see a slow creep up. All right, go ahead with the uh, TV and the radio. Reading 124 volts. Staying steady at 124 volts. We're pulling 4.3 amps with everything that we would run on a day-to-day -day basis, the refrigerator, the TV, the laptops. 83 decibels, 83 and a half decibels, it's still 124 volts, 3.8 amps. So anywhere from three and a half to four and a half amps uh, for the everyday items. Now we'll go on the inside and get a decibel reading uh, on the inside of the travel trailer. Now we have the TV running, we have the radio indoor outdoor speakers running. We switched the refrigerator from LP 
back over to electric. Um, two phones charging, a power bank charging. Uh, this is what we would run on a day-to-day -day basis aside from the AC, the fireplace, the electric hot water heater, and the microwave. We'll get a decibel reading where we would sit and hang out. 39 decibels. So again, 38, 39 decibels was ambient out in the field. So it's as if the birds are chirping or the wind is blowing uh, technically. I can definitely hear the generators running, but uh, from a technical standpoint, it's, uh, it's basically drowned out. If we were to have a conversation or have the TV or radio on, you wouldn't even hear that. That is the Westinghouse in parallel, iGen 2000, iGen 2200 running in parallel with a 30 amp cord. We're actually testing out of a 20 amp just so we can get that amp reading. Uh, thanks for watching guys. This is generatorpowersource.com. Subscribe, give us a thumbs up. It's what helps us to keep going. Check all our videos out. We've tested multiple other Westinghouse, the 4500, the dual fuel 3600. We have a bunch of information online. Check the link in the description below. We're going to have a full write up of this test as well as how to parallel other generators. Again, thanks for watching guys. Generatorpowersource.com.